part of the off-court legacy left behind by the 2016-2017 Boston Celtics team, the Playbook Initiative seeks to leverage the power of sport and more specifically, the appeal of the Celtics to engage middle schoolers on critical and plaguing societal issues. We spent a lot of time talking about it as a team, especially last year in the preseason, about how we could utilize this platform of being a part of a professional sports team in the Boston Celtics to help initiate discussions with younger kids in the communities to help do our part. And so from my own standpoint, it was about trying to work with Dave and work with our team to figure out how best to attack that. The idea behind the playbook, essentially borrowing the concept of how a playbook is used for in sport. Coaches devise a strategy, coaches devise a playbook, they give it to the players, they practice it on the court, they study it, they live it, they sleep it, they breathe it, all with a purpose of being able to execute when the game situation comes. The hypothesis is that you can take that playbook scenario from the court and how it's used in traditional sports and apply it very effectively to social situations. In this case, confronting discrimination and bias. It's good to have you on, pal. Especially so because you've got some touching details for us on something the Celtics are doing. Can you tell us a little more about what the Celtics Playbook Initiative is? Yeah, George, so on Saturday, I got a chance to go over to the Celtics practice facility where uh, President of Basketball Operations Brad Stevens and players Jalen Brown, Grant Williams, and Sam Hauser met with kids from around the community and around the state as part of the Project 351 program and the Celtics Playbook, which is a program that the Celtics came up with a few years ago to try to help kids deal with discriminatory situations that come up with or they come across throughout their daily lives. So take a look at what we put together. Being a young African-American person in the city, especially through 2020, it was honestly pretty scary. I was scared for at least a few months after the unfortunate murder of George Floyd, because I always thought that someone was like second guessing like who I was, you know, mistaking me for someone else or, you know, coming up these biases against me. I can confidently say that having a community around me has made those kinds of situations a little bit easier to deal with. I also think it's important to recognize that they're not supposed to be easy to deal with and that it's okay if it's difficult and it's pretty much supposed to be. NBA teams create playbooks to help them navigate the rigors of a season. Six years ago, the Boston Celtics decided to create a different kind of playbook. This one, though, isn't about drawing up a game-winning three-pointer. Jason Tatum puts Boston on top! Instead, it is to help students learn how to navigate discriminatory situations they encounter throughout their daily lives. We're actually equipping them with the tools to deliver the workshops as facilitators in their community. The playbook consists of scenarios that students who have taken part in the program have witnessed or experienced firsthand. By bringing kids together from across the state, from across a wide variety of backgrounds, and having them talk through these scenarios and how to approach them, the goal is to foster the kinds of tough conversations that can lead to meaningful change. Everybody's here trying to become a better leader authentically for the right reasons of serving a bigger purpose. What makes the playbook unique is that it isn't the adults telling things to the students, it's the students telling them to each other. We were talking about so good believe that it is funny. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bet the majority of people don't think it's funny, but they just don't want to stand up. Okay. For, and say that it's not funny and that It's that ownership of it that gives everyone involved both a sense of accomplishment for what it has achieved and a hope for what it can continue to moving forward. It's something that I'm very passionate about. It's something that I hope to continue. And it's something that I feel like is way goes further beyond just the sport of basketball. To really, you know, teach middle schoolers and teach younger people the conversations that we are having and making sure that, you know, they're being upstanders while also realizing that these scenarios are actually real life things that people go through. I think it's a pretty important, you know, initiative that we're doing. Each grade has approximately 25 home bases or advisory groups of about 10 to 12 students. Each grade also has approximately 25 playbook student leaders who will partner with the home based adult advisor in leading the almost three hour playbook training. The workshop is broken up into six parts pre game, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three quarter four, and post game. 
The Playbook student leader will lead a brief discussion on ground rules before leading a pregame icebreaker. The Playbook student leaders will then, for each of the quarters, initiate a workshop protocol to discuss scenarios written by middle school students on disability, race, culture, and gender.